Welcome English learners and today we're going to take a closer look at TED Talks, TED Talks the website and how you can use it to deepen your knowledge of English. If you want to know why to use it I have another video and you can see the link up there or there I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it maybe there but today we're going to focus on how you can use this TED Talk material get more out of TED Talks. Less is more. So as with many fins in the modern world, it's very easy now to go from one fin to another to another and not really stay with one fin for a long time. And with TED Talks, this could mean that you, you get exposed to a lot of English, but you're not, your learning is not going deep. And if you can find a TED Talk that you like, then you, you can deepen your learning. We'll look at strategies how to stick with one talk for longer. Okay, so first of all, let's choose our talk. And today, my language, I'm going to choose German for today. So let's uh, put everything into German. And I'm going to choose most viewed. I choose most viewed because here I think I will be able to get downloadable audio. Talk I'm going to choose is this one what is a good life learn from the longest study about luck i think anyway so i go to this talk first thing i can do is i can do a download i can download the audio because it's useful to have the audio you could also download the video if, if you think that's useful for you i think it's useful to download the audio when i'm out walking i could also listen to the talk a few times so I've got my audio so now here is um, a few ideas on how you can get more out of your TED talk so I will share the screen again we've got one talk and what I suggest you do is to use the same talk but do slightly different things each time here's a 10-step process so you can watch the video without subtitles it might be difficult. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're gonna, you've got ten steps to learn the other things about it. So, watch the video without subtitles. Just listen, see what you can understand. Step two is write down what the speech is about. So, maybe at this stage you don't know too much what the speech is about. Step three, read the transcript in your language. I put it into German. There is a German transcript for this talk. This should give you a very good idea what the talk is about. Watch the video with subtitles in your language. Step 5. Here you might write down what you think the three main ideas are. Depending on how much time you have, maybe you will write down some other detail as well. Step 6. Read the English transcript. After that, write down your ideas, what the speech is about. Step 8, watch the video with English subtitles. Then you can watch the video without subtitles. And again, write down what the speech is about. So by going through these 10 steps, you get slightly different exposure to the same content. And you get it from listening, you get it from reading, you also get it from writing. And writing is supposed to be very good for your memory. It should help you recall the words better. Okay. If your aim is to improve your spoken English, you could do it in a slightly different way. Here's a different strategy for those of you who, who want to use TED Talks to improve your spoken English. And it, it doesn't have to be a TED Talk. It could be a short video on YouTube. First of all, you can watch the video without subtitles. Record yourself and list what you think the three main points are. Again, read the transcript. Record yourself and explain or correct what you think the three main points are. Watch the video with English subtitles. So relate the story from a third person perspective. For example, the, the speech I chose was by Robert. And you could say something like this. So Robert's speech was about how to live a good life. He started by talking about what young people believe would bring them happiness, which is heavily focused on money. Da, 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 da. So with this, you're not 
saying exactly the same what Robert is saying, but you, you're talking from his point of view. So that's uh, another thing you could do with the TED Talk. So you could use writing and you can use speaking to help you learn this material deeper. Those are just some suggestions. You can change your order if you want. I would strongly recommend that you start with just listen, listening to the speech and not using subtitles. And even if you only get a, a few of the ideas, what they're saying, that's good. That gives you a basis to build on your knowledge. Because you remember, you're going you're to do these steps several times. Anyway, that's my little talk about TED Talks and how they can help you improve your English. Mm -hmm.